have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nobskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. It all comes down to this. Your communicator should work now. The Assassin Brotherhood still exists today, and they remain dedicated to their foolish cause. I am a Templar Knight. I protect the world from the Assassins. Today, you have helped me to fulfill this role. Please, restore the service. Otso Berg, the big star of the Anime Training Program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Master Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid. Oh, your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully... No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over. But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool. 
A weapon. A plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious new world order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us. Happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Duncan Walpole rose to the ranks to become a master assassin. But he was restricted by a brotherhood which chose to send him across the ocean to the West Indies, rather than find a way to nurture his potential. Once there, Duncan attracted the notice of Loriano Torres, former governor of Cuba and Templar Grand Master. Through their correspondence, Torres offered a less violent way to achieve their mutual goals by using precursor artifacts as a surveillance system rather than the murders and scheming favored by the Brotherhood. Sadly, Duncan was killed by a pirate before the Templars could help him achieve his potential. Although Duncan's story does not have a happy ending, it clearly demonstrates that the Templars' highest goals of peace and order need not exclude personal success and achievement. Sean Hastings was a university professor whose hobby was leaking Abstergo secrets. He was hours away from being killed by Abstergo when he was saved by Rebecca Crane, an assassin hacker. Since then, the pair had been inseparable, providing technical support for assassin field agents. Hastings and Crane infiltrated Abstergo Entertainment Montreal in late 2013, and were responsible for the theft of classified information. It is unclear if they planted the virus currently affecting the Helix servers, or if they merely left the door open for other hackers to exploit. Rebecca Crane's skills are not to be underestimated. She created the Animus 2.0, an assassin version of Warren Vidic's original machine. It appears that she was also largely responsible for establishing a new, more secure assassin network. It would seem Crane and Hastings have been promoted within the Brotherhood. There are rumors that they are now leading some kind of hacker collective known as the Initiates, and attempting to lure them to the assassin side.
This is a priority message to all Sigma Team operatives. Assassins have stolen an artifact from a Rotterdam storage facility. Rally point is at 51.887107 by 4.559017. Be there at 0600 local time. Stragglers will be put to death, so move it. Listen up, losers. There are two confirmed assassins operating in the city. Target number one is Harlan Cunningham, the only survivor of a cell in Florence that our fearless leader eradicated a couple of years back. He stole the precursor box and is on the run. Target number two has been identified as Aaron Shute, former MMA champion, and now Cunningham's disciple and lover. How romantic. He's running interference, murdering our Templar agents embedded in Abstergo facilities throughout the city. Sarkin, take Sigma team and go after Shute. I will take down Cunningham myself and recover the artifact. I don't like the idea of you going alone, boss. I want to deal with him personally. Sigma team, maintain contact with Violet at all times. You have your orders. Sorkin, you dipshit! Don't engage him hand to hand! Pull your men back! I'll get some! He's got my gun! Sniper one, do you have a shot? Negative. He's using Sorkin as a shield. He's tearing us apart! Take the shot! I hit Sorkin. He dropped a smoke bomb. I've lost visual. He's... He's gone. That's our cue. Pick up your sorry asses and get to the extraction point. Double time. Just... Just fucking kill me already. I had a dream about you. Ah, oh, that's sweet. But I'm with someone. In my dream, you never made it out of Florence alive. What can I say? I'm too stubborn to die. Hello, lover. Hercule! We can't leave the box behind. Fuck that! I killed half the Sigma team. Let's quit while we're ahead. See you in your dreams, Berg. <sighs> what a shit show. Compile the relevant parts of our audio logs and send them to Letitia, England. Tell her this is exactly why she should be letting us hunt assassins. Box is live. Sorkin's picking off the stragglers as they escape. Good. Proceed to stage two. All points, the word is given. Stage two is a go. I repeat, stage two is a go. Get those doors down. Three, two. Adriano Maestranzi. I have come for you. What's he holding? Vittoria, ugly assassin. Bob! <laughs> Why has Violet DaCosta been removed from Sigma Team? I'm reassigning our assets as I see fit to align with the goals of the Phoenix Project. The Phoenix Project? Sigma Team would be of more use hunting down the remaining assassins. Let Delta Team hunt Precursor Relics instead. Those relics are the key to sequencing First Civilization DNA. Accomplishing that goal will in turn make the assassins even less of a threat than they are now. Be that as it may, Agent Acosta should not be wasted on something like Abstergo Entertainment. Last year's fiasco with the Sample 17 project showed me that Abstergo Entertainment is more than just a disposable subsidiary. It's the best resource we have to finding new pieces of Eden. It is a weak link that has been compromised by our enemies time and time again. All the more reason to have Acosta secure their access to the cloud servers. We're confident that Melanie LeMay won't fuck it up. Like Olivier Garneau. Bringing a civilian like that into our ranks is also unwise. Time will tell with Miss LeMay. 
but she handled the John Standish situation with an even hand. She helped us discover the existence of sages, and in doing so, has done more for Phoenix than you have, Mr. Berg. She also continues to ignore the presence of the instruments of the First Will within her operation. Those whack jobs are actually useful to us for now. They're a cheap source of relics we can exploit. If they become too much of a problem, we'll deal with them with the same efficiency we deal with the Assassins. Giving the Assassins time to regroup is a tactical mistake. We should strike them now while they are at their most vulnerable. We value your passion and expertise, Mr. Berg, and your concerns have been noted. Now pack your bags. You've got a busy year ahead of you. Once you go back to finish Shay's story, your life is never going to be the same afterwards. You should finish any outstanding business before entering your animus. Field report. Phoenix Project. November 1st, 2013. Agent DaCosta alerted me to a possible lead on the Koh Inor Diamond. A replica can be found among the crown jewels of England. However, the true diamond is a powerful piece of Eden and has been lost for centuries. Jot Sura is a programmer at Mysore Tech, a company working with Abstergo Entertainment to release a variant of the Animus headset to Asia called the Brahmin device. He's been associating with Siobhan Dami, the sister of Jadseep Dami, a known assassin. Could the Brotherhood be using the Brahmin device to locate the koh -Nur? Until we have more evidence, I have decided to use a local Abstergo strike force rather than mobilize Sigma team. Update, November 3rd, 2013. Jatsura was abducted outside of Dreamland Studios in Mumbai. He was seen being forced into a van by Siobhan and Jadsi Dami. This confirms my suspicions. The assassins must be using Jatsura's genetic memories to locate the Koinor. I have authorized the local Abstergo soldiers to engage and eliminate the assassins, with instructions that the Brahmin device must be kept intact. I am en route to India. Update, November 4th, 2013. I arrived in India too late. Our strike team engaged the assassins in two separate conflicts. The body of Siobhan Dami was found at the first site, but her remains were too badly damaged in an explosion to collect any genetic information. I found the Brahmin device at the second site, but after reviewing the genetic memories recorded within, I am relieved to find that Jatsura's bloodline was a dead end. The real Koinur diamond remains lost to both sides. Jatsib Dami escaped, which means we must monitor this new assassin activity in India closely. I am closing this file and proceeding to my next mission. Details of Harlan T. Cunningham's life were difficult to acquire, as many traces of his identity before becoming an assassin were altered or erased by Gavin Banks. It is only thanks to Agent Acosta's remarkable skills that we are able to piece together this profile. Cunningham was outed as homosexual in high school, which unfortunately ruined a promising wrestling career. He left Texas as quickly as he could and fled to Europe. Cunningham was recruited by the Brotherhood in Florence, Italy, under the leadership of assassin veteran Adriano Maestranzi. Sigma team attacked the Florence hideout in 2012, but Maestranzi detonated a bomb. Three assassins were killed before the explosion, but Sigma team was annihilated in the process. Cunningham and I were the only survivors. Cunningham was last sighted in Rotterdam, alongside Arendt Schutt, 
a former mixed martial arts champion who also suffered a career backlash when he came out as homosexual. It is clear that Cunningham is mentoring Shut in the ways of the Brotherhood. Although physically gifted and extremely dangerous, Shut is a poor choice as an assassin. He is incapable of keeping a low profile and will compromise the Brotherhood despite himself. Recently, Cunningham stole a piece of Eden from an Abstergo facility in Rotterdam. During the operation, Shoot was charged to attack Abstergo employees throughout the city to draw attention away from his mentor. Although Sigma T managed to reclaim the item, both Cunningham and Shoot escaped. I will not allow Cunningham to get away from me a third time. <laughs>